Hi guys, welcome back to the Max Laser YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you the unboxing of the B2 unit, uh, the handheld inkjet printer. So upon opening, this is what you will get with the unit. This is your first purchase. You'll be getting a protective carrying case. Uh, as we're opening it now, you will see a bunch of little goodies <laughs> that you do get with your purchase. Uh, this part is for just a small attachment for your B2 printer uh, that is used to print on smooth surfaces like plastic that is a bit crumbled up or even on uneven surfaces. <laughs> this would be your photoelectric sensor used to make everything fully automated. So in the future, uh, if you are fed up with the handheld mode, uh, you come back to us, we will be able to set you up with a conveyor belt and a bracket stand and we can make everything fully automated for you. Next is the bracket. Uh, this is used to mount onto any part of the table. You can use all those holes. You can see that is for screws to mount onto the table and it is used to print on curved surfaces like bottles, uh, mugs, depending on what you print on. You also get a lovely little sticker which you can attach to your B2 unit showing that you have purchased the machine. Next is the manual of the B2 unit uh, showing you step by step for step guide on how to use the unit. Now past this point, you will see that the that you do get your touch pin, usually for people that are a bit germophobic. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is only used to touch on the screen, stuff like that. Next, we have our ink cartridge, uh, which you do get with the purchase of the machine, completely free. Next, we have our charger to charge the unit, and also a thumb drive, which you can use to put into the unit to print photos, logos, depending on what you want to print. And then lastly is the B2 unit itself. Hi guys, so now I will be showing you how to install your cartridge into the B2 unit. Uh, it is fairly simple, fairly easy, not too difficult. Uh, let me demonstrate. Firstly, you will see that you have your power button and your black button. Uh, the black button is used to open the flap. You just press it, it will fling open. Next, you will see into the machine showing you the pins and needles to connect to the ink cartridge itself. So what you do is you remove the sleeve of the cartridge, you take your cartridge, you put it in a bit skew so that it can connect easily. You will hear a click showing you, that, showing you that it is secured into the machine. You close your flap and you should be good to print. Now you know how to install an ink cartridge. Hi guys, uh, now that we have the machine on, uh, I will be showing you the different prints that you can do. You'll see on the right hand side is your power button. You hold that in for two seconds and it should switch on. Next, all we have to do is just hit our, we hit edit. And as you can see, you have a blank space for your prints. You hit your add. Now you'll see you can do text, QR codes, barcodes, pictures, times, and numbers. But today we will be doing a barcode first. You click on barcode, then you'll see that there is a blank block with a string. All you have to do is click on your string. So what the string means is on barcode. Now you will see that there is a blank block with nothing inside. So what we need to do now is put in our product string. So you would have to click on it. And let's, for example, just say one, two, three, four, five, six. For example, you hit your confirm button once and then you will see your barcode is completely into the machine itself now. So now you'll see you have a width and a height determining the size of your print itself. So what we are going to do is we're going to bring it all the way to the left or make it go very small for the width and the height. I think I'm going to make it five millimeters high so that the print can Fit in. Now you will see your string number is one, two, three, four, five, six for your product. You hit confirm and then you will see your print is ready. Next, what we are going to do now is we are going to delete the barcode, hit delete, back to add, and then we are going to do a QR code. You click on QR code once, yet again you will see a blank block with a string number. So what a QR code usually is, is a shortcut to a website or very short information. What we will be using is the Max Laser website. So all you have to type in is your information string. You type in www.maxlaser.co.za and then you will see that your barcode will be shown. Next, all we do is we hit our confirm and you will see that your barcode has been created. Yet again, on your left-hand side, you will see the size. I would like to change it back to five, previously all same as the barcode. We hit our confirm, and then you'll see your full barcode is ready for print. 
Next, now what we're going to do is click back on the QR code, hit delete again, and what we are going to add is an expiry date. So you will have to hit on your time. Now you'll see that you have a date and time. We don't want the time, we just want the date. And what we will be doing is clicking, unticking that box at the bottom left, which is time to just show the date itself. Now that we do have the date, we want to turn it into expiry date. You hit on expiry once, and then you can see where in the future you want your product to expire. So to show, for example, let's say in one year's time, in 11 months, 12 months, sorry about that, and 31 days. Now you hit your confirm, then you will see that your date has changed to the date you have selected for the expiry date. After that, if you want to change your sizing, anything like that, you hit your font, then you will be able to change the sizing and font itself. So I want to change the size and I want to make it five millimeters big, same as the rest. Now, all you have to do is hit your confirm, confirm again, and your print will be ready once more. Okay, so we got our QR code ready, ready to print. You can see there, all you do is hit your print once, your print once, you hit the button, you'll hear that beep, that means it is ready to print. We take off our cover, and as you can see on the piece of wood, from left to right, it does print the QR code. Again, button once, press the button, screen will go dark, meaning that it is in print mode, and from left to right, you will make your print, as you can see here. Okay, here we have our barcode, and we are going to use it to print onto the hard plastic part. So once again, hit the button once, you'll see the screen goes dark, meaning that it is in print mode. You take your handheld inject printer, from left to right, you print, and you'll be able to see your print right there.